Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're here with a new friend, Mike from Austin, Texas. We're gonna dig in on his extraordinarily cool 65 Mustang. Basically, you're done with the car. You get to go drive it and enjoy it now, right? Yes, when you I, get it back to Austin. Yeah, just picked it up from Gabe's upholstered uh, on last Friday when I got here. So I'm driving around this week in uh, California and then trailering it back and it'll be the first time that I've actually driven it around in over a year since it's been doing all this restoration stuff. Let's pop the hood, let's look at the motor and see what's happening here. Okay. Is, is this old Coyote or is this pre-Coyote? This is pre-Coyote. This has come out of a 1997 uh, Lincoln Mark 8. It's a uh, 4.6 liter. It's got the Cobra intake on it. Uh, it dynoed out a little under 300 horsepower, but it's a great driver. I drive all my vehicles, so this one right here, I have some that have the LS3 in it, uh, has some of the supercharger stuff, but this right here, this is the way it came. I'm debating over whether to put the Coyote in it and mm -hmm. upgrade a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, for a driver, this has been one of the best driving cars that I've had. The guys that actually built it, they wanted to do old school, no fiberglass, no bolt on stuff right. so the bumper they completely built out of steel that's a metal bumper bumper about metal bumper wow. the, the hood they took the original hood they did all the body work to it they spent in thousands of hours on this body work uh same no thing question. if you look down the, the side they didn't yeah. they didn't want to tub the uh tub it out but they wanted a wider tire so they actually built the fender flares out it widened the car four inches uh to be able to fit that in there and it gives it a nice look, nice stance Definitely uh, does. on it, but it's all 100% metal. Like I said, those guys did an incredible job on all the, the work, keeping it close to it as original as possible, but giving it the modern look. So into this, man, because this is, these guys, I mean, I know the Gabe's guys, you know, Jesus and I have become friends over the last few years. And I personally, I think they're the best in the business for interiors. I. I love what these guys do. Look at this in here, man. This is so cool. Yeah, well he took the, his idea, those are the Lamborghini gauges. So he bought those all those Lamborghini switches and yeah. he put all those Lamborghini uh, switches in there which control a lot of the stuff and- Like your windows. Yeah, and... the windows, yep. the lights, the hazards, mm -hmm. uh, the, mm -hmm. the dome, uh, yep. all that stuff. Then he put a, the gear shift in there. It came out of a 2017 Ford Mustang. Like I said, again, some modern touches, but yeah. still. It's like really nice an interesting look. blend. It's such an interesting blend, man. It really is. I mean, you've got, I know Sean Smith designing and I know Gabe's interior yeah. working together. You get a very European styled interior, you know, the Lamborghini switches, the vents that they use. But then there's elements of this car that are still just so old school, you know? I mean, keeping the same gauge cluster, but replacing the gauges. So on the back, we cut in these, these tail lights here. Uh, give it the modern look. The front, you have the, the grill and the hood, mm -hmm. and then also now on the sides, you the, the flares. flares. Yeah. So the whole entire, you, we covered every, both sides, front and back, but did subtle. That's well done though. Yes. Man. That could, I'm sorry to say, that could really screw up the look of the car, but in my opinion, the way they cut it and integrated it in rather than having it set out. Yes. That's class. Yeah. That's such a class job yeah. right there. Yeah. Well, man, let's go, let's go take it for a drive and see what your 300 horsepower feels like. And, you know, and, and I want to sit in this interior, man. Yeah. Sounds great. Cool. Let's do it. All right. Hey guys, before we go for a drive, head over to atlamerch.com and check out the store. We've got shirts and hats, stickers, keychains, and of course, the hot chick shirt. All right, let's go for a drive. It's got power, but it's, it, yeah. dude, I know you and I are so on yeah, the yeah, same no, page no, no, about no. it. Definitely, it, it's got power, but you, you would like it to, spin the wheels right when you hit it like that a little bit so you want to move more you know yeah. i mean dude if it was me i mean like my opinion matters but if it was me 
I really would go into that realm of like a stock coyote where yeah. you're in that 500 range. Plenty of power to have fun, but you're still going to have your reliability, yeah. you know? Because you obviously want this to still be a driver car that you can enjoy. Oh, yeah. I love the way it feels, though. I mean, it feels super, super planted. This thing feels... I love the suspension. I love the steering on it. Yeah. Like I said, it, it is... Uh, I keep saying it before, but it, for people that, that don't know or are doing cars, it's a great driver. A lot of times, like it I is. said, I have a, a, a lot of different cars, and uh, they have the the horsepower and they have all that uh but this is one that you like i drove this all the way from newport i mean it was an hour and 30 minute drive and it's just like driving just cruising just cruising around yeah it, ma it makes it nice so it's, it's nice to have a a mixture it's nice to do, do jump in one that's got 750 horsepower with a supercharger on it and then just peel out but it's also nice to have a cruiser sitting for a year it's got yeah back firing, the, the back fire, yeah sure. well it's got it definitely needs to be uh completely tuned yeah i was because with uh jesus i was like man that thing hasn't been driven in a year and i'm planning on driving it around california when i'm there so he took it for a couple of days for me and drove it home but so far it's been it's driving yeah All right, you guys, that's it for our shoot of Mike's very cool 65 Mustang. Like you heard both of us talking about in the video, you know, there's questions on the power as to whether or not to, to push more power to this. If it was my choice, I definitely would. But I tell you what, man, the work on this car is really, really, really beautiful. The metal work that they've done here from the flares, adding on to the rocker, the hood, Gabe's interior is doing just the typical exceptional interior that they do. Everything, and I love that it's all done in metal. There's no glass, there's no Bondo. This is a this is a proper built car, man. It really is, and it drives just great. I mean, the suspension feels great, the steering, everything about it. I think this is a, just a completely badass car. If it was up to me, give it a couple hundred more horsepower and let her rip. So anyways, you guys, that's it for today. As always, thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.